In the high Andean ranges of Peru, 90% of agriculture irrigation is provided by rainfall. Alternatively, traditional irrigation systems are employed which are unable to provide for the region's needs. This leads to decreased food production, soil erosion, as well as various negative socioeconomic impacts. Estamos en la comunidad de we are in the community of Cuñapampa, where, as in all the other communities in the mountains of Peru, when there is drought, there is a problem with drinking water, and water for agricultural purposes. We are in a very problematic situation. Global warming is not only affecting our region, but also the whole world. Inefficient production forces families to adopt unsustainable production practices, as well as seeking seasonal migration to complement their incomes to cover the family expenses. Our goal is to store enough quantities of water during times of rain and then share it with our neighbors. The technical design of the adopted solution guarantees effectiveness and efficiency, as well as conforming to the local context and its needs. The United Nations Joint Program, which is cooperating with this community, is providing the funds to make it possible for them to implement an irrigation system to water their crops. The systems are suitable to irrigate land plots found in ladders. The operating system is based on the principle of charge and discharge. The weight of the water inside the conducting hose and the gradient between the reservoir and the irrigation sites generate high levels of pressure, thus allowing for sprinkler irrigation. In, estos cerros de naturaleza volcánica, in these mountains of volcanic nature, a reservoir has been dug with a capacity of approximately 300 cubic meters. De capacidad. Once the excavation and the waterproofing of the reservoir have been completed, a special membrane is layered on its floor, which allows for a gradual release of water into the soil, and therefore the regeneration of aquifers in the mountains. The sustainable management of water resources is beneficial to the rural household. It brings substantial improvements in the quality of life, in sanitation services, and in agricultural production. Firstly, I'd like to explain our project. This reservoir has been built because we have found financing allowing us to build it so we can irrigate our land. We had a meeting and have taken a decision to build the reservoir. It's 15 by 10 meters and has a 2 meter depth. It more or less supplies all families. We now have the comfort of having water and therefore all the families are now starting to cultivate fodder and vegetables. There are five families that had no water and were in the breeding program, but with no water they could not grow fodder for their livestock. Higher fodder production improves guinea pig breeding. In addition, the water reservoirs can be used for the farming of trout, carp and duck. <laughs>
Como dice el compañero, tomábamos agua de la sequía. As our friend is saying, we took water from the irrigation ditch, and now we all have water and are happy and more at ease because we can work, we can have more fodder and more vegetables, and take them to the market and other places too. Improvement of the family plot production has had a positive impact on the demographic stability of the community. As farmers are now able to make a living from their produce, they are less likely to migrate to off-farm activities and urban settings. Lo felicito porque el trabajo que están haciendo, compañeros, I congratulate you all because the work you are doing, my friends, is important not only for you here in your communities. You know how to handle natural resources very well. Pero tal vez ustedes no saben lo importante que es el trabajo que ustedes hacen. You must know, however, how important the work you are doing is for Peru. It is communities like this one that protect Mother Water and Mother Earth that ensure the steady flow of water from the highest part of the Andes to the lower regions of Peru. Reservoirs in the high Andes infiltrate water into the underground, allow for irrigation during droughts. Water channels through PVC tubes increases sanitary conditions, increases fodder availability for minor species, allow for fish farming, reduces soil erosion, improves the landscape.